Good morning, guys. It's Kelly from Mystical Madness Healing. I just did a reading for Taurus and Virgo. I'm going to do Capricorn now. I've been shuffling. Make sure I got them real good. And, oh, this, I cannot handle this one I have to take sticking out. I wasn't going to. Seven of Swords. You know what? Yeah. No. 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 I'm trusting. <laughs> Seven of Swords is not the best card. It is a sneaky um, deception. The light is shining on whomever this is. Um, crows, if you're hearing a lot of crows and stuff, if you were going through a tough time, if you are hearing them or whatever, but, but uh, crows and ravens are very spiritual and significant. But this is uh, kind of a deception card, sneaky something happening. I um, I want to make sure that I grab the right card when they stick out like that and I get a strong something in my head going, you take that one. It's sticking out, okay? So we'll, let's see what this Seven of Swords is, Capricorn. Spirit, is the Seven of Swords in the past for Capricorn? Is this is there a message on this Seven of Swords that I can give Capricorn right now, Spirit? Oh, 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 oh. The Fool. Okay, who just got this? Um, Taurus. Taurus just got uh, the Fool card also. Um... Could be dealing with the Taurus, maybe. Um, Fool card is amazing it, because you you wouldn't be taking this leap off the cliff unless you were pretty secure and knew what you wanted. So, um, the Fool is is a leap of faith. It's taking a risk. It's something awesome. Okay, I'm glad we got the Fool card after the Seven of Swords. <laughs> okay, Spirit, please. Please clarify these. The Fool card for Capricorn. Clarify this. Also, this Seven of Swords. Is this in the past? This deception. What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to look out for? What are the uh, best messages for Capricorn, please? This top card screaming at me. And it is a Six of Wands. Okay. So, that makes sense with the Fool card taking a writ taking a leap on something, a risk. Um, and I, I don't know if you noticed, she's got a book in her hand. Okay, so it's a she, but remember, it's only a picture. It's could be both an energy, could be male or female. Um, Six of Wands is a amazing, um, almost like, star card, you know, like, look at, she's, she's under lights, definitely a creative person, very intuitive, uh, could be a project, could be, um, somebody, um, I don't want to say famous, maybe, but somebody with a platform, yeah, somebody under lights, okay, that could be you. That could be you, Capricorn, uh, uh, taking, a, taking a leap with uh, a new idea. Let's see. Six of Wands is a, a really good card to get. Sixes are all about um, relationships, business, stuff like that. All right, let's see what we got on Spare. Please clarify the Six of Wands for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to hear? Okay, Nine of Swords. Taurus also got this card. No, no. No, no. Um, Virgo. Nine of Swords is you're in your head, but you can get out. You're kind of stuck. You know, you're, the thoughts are just swirling around. Um, but it's really, really, um, you know, a, a mental card, uh, and it's burden, burdensome. I've been here. I've been in the Ten. I've been in the Ten of Swords also. But can you see the, the light coming through there? Okay. So you have 
uh, guidance. You, but you got to just, you, you probably got a lot going on after that. That Seven of Swords, that deception, that could have got you stuck. This, and again, this is probably in the past because you got the Fool and the Six of Wands before it. You always got to go like, you always got to go like the trump the card before it because to me the stories go backwards like they uh like a lifetime movie they'll show you the beginning <laughs> the worst part and then they go <laughs> uh, yeah i don't know what made me turn over the bottom of the deck but well spirit did page of pentacles best page to get um it could be an offer um uh, on a job here or you know, this could be you with this new creative project, Capricorn. All right, let's see. Page of Pentacles. Spirit, please clarify the Page of Pentacles for Capricorn. What is going on with Capricorn? What does she or he need to hear? <laughs> You're definitely dealing with a Taurus or a Virgo. World card. Taurus got the world card too. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth sign. World card. World. Best card. Best card to get. You got the whole world here in your hands. You can, and this it this makes sense with this fool in the six of wands. Huge. There's something huge coming in. You're doing something big, Cap Capricorn. I love this. I'm going to clarify the world card. What a great card to get after the Seven of Swords. You went through a lot for sure with that Nine of Swords. So, you're unstuck. <laughs> I love this. I love that card. I love it. All right. Spirit, please. I love when they go like this. Please clarify the world card for Capricorn. What does this world card mean for Capricorn? Okay, there's a couple here. King of Cups. Oh, nice. Oh, my God. Look, again, I keep saying this. Orange. There's orange and red in every single one of these cards today. Like, maybe I'm just noticing it more. But the King of Cups could be dealing with the Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, but doesn't have to be. King of Cups could be anybody. King of Cups is, uh, got lots of love to offer. And this was the other card. You know, they're a little emotional, too. They're, I noticed, like, they're wishy-washy. They're showing the water and the sailboat. And, but he's, he's sitting still. While the water's moving, you know, so he knows what he wants. Moon card. Okay. Um, this king of cups could have been hiding emotions. Because the moon is like secrets, hidden emotions, thing that things that happen in the dark. That, you know, need to come to light. And you got the world card. So this, again, this could be something related to this story. Or you could have king. I mean, if you got a king, a king of cups coming in, that's a nice love offer. Let's see. Now I got to figure that. Now I got to keep going. <laughs> All right. Let's, spirit, let's clarify. Who's this king of cups? Is this coming in for Capricorn? Who's this king of cups coming in for Capricorn, and what are their intentions? Please, Spirit, please. Please clarify the King of Cups and the Moon card. Spirit, please clarify this King of Cups. Alright, Spirit says go to the bottom of the deck because you already got the World card. Ah. Queen of Swords. So, you got a king and a queen. And the queen of swords, you know, uh, she's got her sword up, but look at the deception card, and that's why. So, um, you know, there was something that, but that's only one part of the queen of swords. 
she is confident. She is uh, successful, intuitive. Um, hold on. My ears are ringing, so... I don't know. I just was. I. I <laughs> All right. I'm sorry, guys. Literally, I. I was trying to hear what was going on with this Queen of Swords because my. Oh my God, my ears were ringing big, big time. Could be just that this reading might be for me too. I'm a Taurus with a lot of Capricorn, and I'm at my granddaughter's. She's a mini me, and yesterday. <laughs> She was nuts. She's a Capricorn. <laughs> I didn't sit down all day. Okay, sorry guys. I just, like, literally, that's weird when you get that overpowering ringing. And, um, to me, it was telling me that this reading is accurate or for me or because there's a, you got a king and a queen here. Queen of Swords. You know already what's coming you're very intuitive and that's why you got the world card i'm gonna clarify one more i was gonna um shuffle them and spirits at the bottom of the deck love when this happens maybe that's why my ears were ringing hi priestess you already know what's coming capricorn you have something huge keep whatever you're doing you're in lights. People are noticing you. You're going to get your recognition with the world card. You're the high priestess. Pretty good reading ended up being. Hope this helps, Capricorn. Please like, share, and subscribe if you resonate. Thanks.